Hey guys, and welcome back to The Last of Us. When we last left off, we found out that we were, well, we had some kind of disagreement with a guy called Robert, and uh, we're slowly making our way to have a little chinwag with the fellow. We made our way through the slums, and we killed our first few enemies, which was interesting. Anyway... Let's pick up. Yeah, we know. We saw this last time. Come on, Tess. Let's go find our friend Robert. I'm looking for Robert. You come through here? Half hour ago. He went back to the wharf. He's there now. The wharf, you say? Well. Let's go uh, rough this gentleman up, shall we? More firefly stuff. These fireflies must have been everywhere at one point. Or at least... They have sleeper agents everywhere. Hmm. Okay, come on, Tess. Let's head on. Here we go. Let us through. You guys need to turn around and head back if you know what's good for you. Our beef isn't with you. We just want Robert. You don't want to do this. Turn the fuck around and leave now. I'm not going anywhere without Robert. Bitch, I will bash your skull unless you turn around and get your dumb ass out of here. Fuck this. <laughs> Take cover! Well, Tess doesn't then, screw around, does she? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Tess. No worries. We got this. We got this. We got to remember how combat works now. Uh, I think I can remember a thing or two. We've only got eight bullets now. That's uh, something to think about. Let's try and flank these guys. All right, friendo. Right, hopefully Tess is going to put some pressure on. Yeah, you really don't want to get hit because getting hit hurts in this. You son of a bitch. Headshots all the way. Nicely done, Texas. Alright, well that's what happens. You too. When you fuck with Joel and Tess. You get all these guys. If Robert's good at one thing, it's writing blank checks. Mm. Let's go put an end to that. Alright. Yeah, pistol's pretty good. Pistol's pretty damn good against uh, grunts. Enemies later on will be uh, armoured, so they're definitely going to be a little bit harder to get rid of, but we'll cross that bridge in due time. Now, I don't think there's any hidden things around here. I think we're safe to move on. Alright, Tess, I'm on the way. Remember who we were. Believe the fireflies. Believe them for what? They want... Um, the government's to return. Well, I think it uh, might be a little bit too late for that, to be honest. Give me your hand. I would say the world's kind of uh, in a rather dark place right about now. As I don't think the people would uh, accept the government's coming back. Or at least that's uh, the feeling I'm getting from this right now, anyway. No matter, let's keep moving. We can wax lyrical about such things another time. We have more Over pressing here, concerns. Hmm. Well, this place looks like it's going to be rough. What well, we got? We've got five rounds, and that's about it. No matter. More of Robert's guys. Mm. How do you know they're coming? Two of our guys died trying to take Tess out. I guarantee that she and Joel are on their way here right now to get Robert. Jesus. We shouldn't have taken this job. Not our call. Let's spread that's out and make sure no one's Tess. creeping around in here. 
Nice one, Tess. Yeah, Tess doesn't screw around. I like her. She's a really cool character. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Right, this one's mine. Come to daddy. Your ass is mine, boy. Right. Yep. We have a few options. We can drag them around for a little bit, but... Might as well uh, get rid of them as soon as we can. Now, let's have a little look, see what else is going on around here. We've got a couple of no-goods in here. Let's see if we can sneak on in. So it looks like we're well known in this area. I meant to tell you, I was down on Jordan Street. Some holy soldiers showed up with a group of about five civs, all in handcuffs. Let me guess. Fireflies. Yep. I lined them up against the wall and bang, bang, bang. They just executed all of them. Well. Yeah, I hear it's like that all over the city. Tracking down on them hard. Yeah. I got a cousin with them. Seriously? Yeah. The idiot thinks he's going to save the world. Hope he's all right. Yeah, well, I guess the moral of the story is uh, don't be a firefly. Anyway. Let's take these guys out. Go on, Tess. That's my girl. Nice. She's got a knife. No fair. I want a knife. That's the way to do it. All right. Nicely done. Nicely done. Let's search the area. Oh, bullets. Don't mind if I do. Very nice. Very nice. Up to ten rounds. Which, yeah, yeah. We're not going to stop an army, but. It's better than what we did have. Put it that way. Ah, uh, we got some food there, but we don't need it. Uh, looks like we've got some general supplies here. Nothing that we can pocket, sadly. Got some big batteries. Nope. I don't think there's anything we can loot here anyway. Oh, there's actually quite a lot of health here when you think about it. Anyway, let's go. When you're low on ammo, look for other strategies to survive. So Robert definitely seems like he's uh, concerned, should we say. I heard something. Yeah, I heard it too. Let's see if we can lure this guy in. Where's the other one? Just him. Let's see if we can take this guy out quickly. I think we're gonna miss our opportunity, and I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> Whoops! No matter. Ah, fuck it. I do like the stealth in this game. I do. That was. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, I pushed uh, triangle. No, I didn't. I pushed square instead of triangle. God damn it. Never mind. I'm just going to have to do this the hard way. Hard way or easy way? Ooh, Tess. Tess, 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 Tess. If Tess is kicking some ass, best thing to... Oi, 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 oi. Counter. Yeah, always help Tess out because... She's our friend, you. Who's next? We are. How do we get in cover? Mm, he's he's quite selective sometimes about getting in cover. Really? Ooh, right in the eye, right through the fucking eye socket. Okay, can we go? We can't actually go back through there where we had all that food. It's kind of a kick in the knickers, but never mind. No matter. Let's keep pressing forwards. These guys have anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Got a bottle, but I don't think we need a bottle today. What else we got? Nothing, man. We got nothing. Oh, God, hello. You serious? That, that guy did not... That guy didn't see me. 
I don't know how that guy didn't see me. Maybe he, uh, he did see us and he's like, nope, nope, nope. I see nothing. I see nothing. Go about your business, Mr. Joel. Right, let's have a listen. So we've got him downstairs. Is it just him? Nah, there's more of them than that. There's got to be more of them than that. I don't trust it, Tess. Keep your eyes peeled. There's nothing up here. Just him. Ah, no, 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 no. We do have two. We do have two. Okay. I thought there was. Son of a bitch. What have we got here? Oh, a shiv. A shiv is a stealth only weapon that allows you to take down enemies faster and quieter than strangling. Sneak up behind an enemy and grab them using triangle. Then press triangle again to shiv. Shivs have limited uses. When their durability runs out, they break. Upgrade their durability by finding training manuals. Yeah. Um, shivs last... Well... To start with, Shiv's last one hit. Unfortunately. They're really good, though. They're so good. Right, we've got a bottle. There's our guy. Don't come this way, pal. Come to daddy. Alright, you go sleep now. Good night. Unfortunately, his friendo saw me. Where are you, pal? Come on, come join the party. There you go. Oh, you son of a bitch. There you go, little pussy. Come here. Tess, I was trying to grab the guy. God damn it, Tess. You're low on health. Well, not really. We're like halfway down on our health. We should have brought more people. They just slow us down. Yeah. Right. Hmm. Do we really have the capacity Come to have on. more people? Docks are this way. Let's do this. Makes me wonder, do we actually have our own gang or what? Don't really know how, uh, if that's ever explained, to be honest. Just how much influence uh, Joel and Tess actually have. Because it seems like they're just a couple of uh, no-good nicks, but the game kind of drops hints that they might be uh, might be a little bit more to their operation. All right. Anyway, let's get out of here. I'm not really sure what kind of racket they're running. No, this looks a little bit more active. Well, he looks like a bum. That cocky son of a bitch. Let's go wrap this up. Mm. All right, let's go to work. No, oh, little by little. Let's be smart about this. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Now this place is quite hard to actually um, clear out without things going tits up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we've got him. That's one down. Good night, you son of a bitch. Who's next? Who else we got? That always trips me out. That's her chilling out there. I thought it was someone else there for a minute. No matter. Right, who's next? Whose head is on the executioner's block? Hmm. Looks kind of like a straight empty warehouse, but it's not. Alright, what have we got? We've got a bottle on us, so that's cool. There's plenty of throwables around here as well, so there's uh, lots of equipment to make distractions. The only trouble is it's hard to see where the other guys are. Like if we pulled someone out up here, it's hard to see who else down there is going to be looking at him. Oh, a shiv. Fuck me. Don't mind if I do. Now, you can only hold three shivs. 
And there are optional loot rooms. Think of, uh, if you play Dead Space, they're kind of like the node rooms. There's, yeah, the optional loot rooms. Uh, and they require a shiv to get into. Alright, let's see. Let's see who I can pull in. Is it just him? I can handle just him. Come to daddy. Come, buddy. Come on. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Let's grab this fucker. Get him out of here. Yeah, don't you worry about it, buddy. Alright, I think we can get him around here. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Although, we're just about to be seen. Come on, can you hurry that up, Joel? There we are. That'd do. Keep it up. Wasn't... Wasn't perfect, but... Shit, 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 shit. That's fine. Need another throwable. Now, I did see some more bricks around. Give me that. So there's another dude there. There's another brick. Right, I just picked up a plank of wood. Now, planks of wood uh, are melee weapons. They upgrade your melee attack, basically. Um, and you can see it in the bottom of the screen there, under our health. And it's got four hits. You do get better ones as well as the game goes on. But they all break. Where's this dick? Ah, there's another one there. He's got a weapon. How was that? Yeah. I heard a joke. Let's see. Go, cool, buddy. Go on. Go on. Turn your back, my son. Turn your back and you're mine. Come on. Yep. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. And we're not wasting our shivs. No way. Good night, you sack of shit. Who's like next? Are you, are you enjoying this a little bit too much, Tess? Because I think you might be. Alright, now before we go in, let's have a little look over here. Shipping manual. Damn soldiers spotted one of our ships. I thought we were done for, but that Robert guy knew one of them. He managed to bribe them in return for letting us go. I guess he's good for something. The son of a bitch can talk. It did cost us a third of the cargo, and I can't shake the feeling that we've been had. How the hell did they find us in that fog? Anyway, here's what we managed to bring in. Two crates of clothes, some new pairs of jeans, one crate of toilet paper, two crates of frozen meat, more Canadian bison, and one crate of liquor. Nice. This guy's wheeling and dealing with everyone in town. Sounds like a nice little uh, haul. New jeans. You know, it's the things like that that you would uh, you don't think about, but in this kind of situation, you know, you wouldn't get new clothes, would you? Let's just be cool. Everything would be hand-me-down stuff. So I imagine uh, getting yourself some new duds would be something pretty special. An actual bison and decent meat. Hmm. Yeah, like I say, you don't think about these little things. All this, um, you know, basic shit that we take for granted. Now, is he on his own? Yeah, I think the fucker is. Come to me, sweet cheeks. Hey, baby. You stay there, my son. You're fucked. Not bad. Not bad, actually. I think that's all of them. Nice. No, there's one more. Right, he should be easy in that enough. office. Robert must have run in there. Let's go. Come on, come on. Go on, you prick. 
That's it. Nothing. Nothing indeed, my friend. Good fucking night. Right, okay. Now, before we head on, I'm actually going to have to end the video soon. Because I've got to go meet my missus. But we are going to grab that. What the hell are we doing with this guy? I don't like how he orders us around. And I don't like his stupid ponytail. And I'm sure as shit don't like that he hasn't paid us yet. Not to mention that the people after him uh, are some of the most dangerous in the city. What do you think is going to happen when they get wind of our involvement? Wait, so... I'll leave it to Robert to piss everyone off. That's interesting. So apparently we're some of the most dangerous people in the city. Hmm. I can live with that. Right, I've got two med kits. Let's get one used up. And let's go see our boy Robert, shall we? After taking care of his goons. Jack, get the fuck back. We just want to talk, Robert. Hmm. We got fucking nothing to talk about. Put your gun down. Oop. Go fuck yourself. He couldn't have been that high and mighty if this criminal Robert. boss only had like three bullets. Come on, you little bitch. Uncle Joe wants a word. Uncle Joe? I, of course, mean Uncle Joel. Wants a little word with you. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> I always go the wrong way there. Like every fucking time. There we go. Well, hello, Robert. <laughs> Jess. Joel. No hard feelings, right? None at all. All right. Oh, God damn it! We missed you. Look, whatever it is you heard, it ain't true, okay? I just want to say... The guns. You want to tell us where the guns are? Yeah, sure, but... It's complicated. Right. Hmm. Look, all right, just hear me out on this. I got it. Oh, fuck. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh. Quit your squirming. You were saying? I sold them. Excuse me. I didn't have much of a choice. I owed someone. You owed us. I say you bet on the wrong horse. I just need more time. Just, uh, give me a week. You know, I might have done that if you hadn't tried to fucking kill me. Oh, come on, it won't Who like has that. our guns? I can't. Uh, just give me a couple of <laughs> Who has our guns? It's the fireflies. I owe the fireflies. What? Look, they're basically all dead. We, we can just just go in there, finish them off. We get the guns. What do you say? Come on, yeah, fuck those fireflies. Just go get them. That is a stupid idea. Oofed. Well, now what? We go get our merchandise back. How? I don't know. We explain it to them. Look, let's, let's go find a firefly. We won't have to look very far. There you go. Queen firefly. Why are you here? Business. You aren't looking so hot. Where's Robert? I needed him alive. The guns he gave you, they weren't his to sell. I want them back. Doesn't work like that, Tess. The hell it doesn't. I paid for those guns. You want them back? You're gonna have to earn them. How many cards are we talking about? <laughs> I don't give a damn about ration cards. I need something smuggled out of the city. You do that, I'll give you your guns back. Then so. How do we know you got him? 
way I hear, the military's been wiping you guys out. Right about that. I'll show you the weapons. Yes, sir. I gotta move. What's it gonna be? I wanna see those guns. Follow me. Hmm. Interesting. Well, we're gonna have to wrap this up here, guys. Um. Yeah. Interesting. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tess doesn't fuck around. Uh. I don't blame her. I don't think I would be uh, trusting Robert either. However, now it looks like we're um hmm, involved with the fireflies, which. Well, that's kind of a death sentence in its own right but we need to go get our shit back so it seems like guns are quite the high commodity around here they, they have a very high value which begs the question if tess and um joel here smuggle weapons for a living which i'm sure they do other things as well but that does seem to be their um main business should we say why do we have just a pistol and a handful of bullets? Hmm. Maybe we shouldn't think too much about these things. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. I know I am. And as always, till next time.